What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. What's up guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right, every week, me and my beautiful wife are coming at you guys, giving you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance your relationship, make things better, or maybe reignite that flame that maybe is diminished over time, right? Wanna make sure you guys are all living your best life and having a good time doing it, especially with your partner. And guys or girls, don't worry, if you don't have a partner now, hopefully this is gonna help you guys so when you do find that partner, you'll make sure it's the right one. And if it's not, we'll have all these tips and tricks to really find if there's red flags or not. Sure. So guys, so this week we want to cover some really, really important things that are going to make your relationship better, stronger, and optimized mm -hmm. to the finest or top ability that you could possibly do with your relationship. Well, hold it together pretty much. Hold it together, yeah. Give it their strength to really stand on its own. Yeah. Two feet or four feet. Four feet, say. actually. Four feet, like right? a table. Four legs. Right. Four a table. Legs. A table has four legs. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. So what we want to talk about today are very, very important in your relationship in life. These things are loyalty, commitment, communication, and respecting each other. Mm. Right? These are four pillars of your relationship that's making your table strong and stand sturdy and so it doesn't fall over. Yeah, you guys ever have one of those wobbly tables, you know, where like one side's a little shorter than the other, or you lose that little thing, that, the, the, like a little thing that keeps the, the yeah. rubber stopper, yeah. and then it's wobbly, and then it's just annoying when you put stuff on it, and it's just not, you yeah. know. It's, not balanced? Yeah, so it's kind of like secure. that. It's kind of like that. It's definitely like that. <laughs> and if you knock out any of those legs, the table's gonna come crashing down. Mm -hmm. So you really wanna have all four of these pillars, and not just one or two of these things. So let's talk about some of these different ways that you guys can make your relationship stronger with the four pillars of a healthy and strong relationship. One is loyalty. Loyalty is something I think is diminished over time. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a lot of loyal people out there. Period. And I, I don't know why this is, but there's probably some different things like social media mm -hmm. and all the other different influences or apps out there that make it so easy for somebody to be disloyal to you. Now, loyalty just doesn't come in cheap. Loyalty can be coming stabbing in the back, taking other people's sides, all different ways and forms of being disloyal to your partner. Very true. Right? So you wanna make sure that you're loyal to each other. Nothing can get in between you guys. Nothing divides you guys. You guys are growing strong together mm -hmm. and not growing apart. And people will be jealous of this when they see your relationship. If they see a relationship and see that you're happy and see that your partner's so great and treats you with respect and communicates with you and is loyal to you and has a commitment, they want that. Mm -hmm. Everybody out there is looking for true love. And they all have definitions of what true love really is. Right. And it might mean something to him or her. Or maybe physically, emotionally. That might be different from us to them. So at that point, you really want to look at being loyal. And being loyal is having your partner's back. Yeah. In every way, shape, or form, having their back, right? Supporting them. Yep. Now, you might disagree with some of the things they might be doing, and you might not want to support those things, but you're still loyal to them, right? Well, you'll either A, agree to disagree, and then, you know, one thing I've learned over time, and this had really, I guess, really nothing to do with loyalty, maybe a combination of like communication, respect, and loyalty, is to not, if you disagree with something, you're not gonna tell tell them in front of other people. Right. Like, I disagree with what you're saying. Mm. You know, I don't think that's right. Mm. Just go with the flow, and then when you guys get in the car, you guys can talk about it later. Right. And it just, it works out so much better that way. Right. Instead of like, you know, almost comes across as belittling sometimes. Absolutely. And you don't realize you're doing it, because you might just be thinking, oh, it's just a conversation. I was just responding. But then when you replay it back in your head, you're like, oh, wow. That was not, I don't think that worked out. That, that, maybe, in that, maybe that didn't make my husband look too great in front of everyone else. Definitely not. And then you put that out there for people to see too as well. Now they're judging a relationship. They might start getting in your ear or trying to get in your ear about mm. things and really try to start dividing you guys even more. And this might be intentional. It might not be intentional, but it could still have the same result 
to make you guys start growing apart. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're loyal to your partner. At the end of the day, she has your back, you have her back, or you have his back and he has your back, however it is done. Mm -hmm. But you guys are staying loyal to each other in all ways, shapes, and forms. If there's something that you don't disagree or you do disagree with, talk about it later. Um, and at that point, make sure your, your, your partner is comfortable with you. They know in a sticky situation or bad situation, my partner is going to be ride or die, ride all or day die. long. Right? All day long. That is one thing that I can say for sure, 110% is loyalty you know and i can't say oh i'm gonna be loyal to everybody because that's that would be lying because i mean i'm only gonna be loyal to the people i love respect you know so and so forth however john i'm loyal to him like there's no other you know i really truly i don't even there there is no like other man like even when we're like out at a party or something I swear to you not, I, so it sounds crazy, but there's literally like no one else in the room. It's literally just him, even though there's like 300 people at the party. So it's, it's kind of crazy. And that's how I knew that he was my soulmate. And you know, and this was true love is because he was the only person and still is the only person that I see. It's awesome, right? Same <laughs> with me. I mean, she is my end all be all as far as that goes. Um, so commitment. Commitment comes right afterwards, right? And commitment kind of goes along with loyalty. Mm -hmm. If you commit to something, make sure you stick with it all the way. Don't be one foot out, in and one foot out type person. You want to make sure that you're in with both feet and you guys are moving forward together. And you guys are committed to each other to go forward and produce whatever you guys want to. Whether it's well, a get relationship, married, married, your kids, whatever, you, whatever it is you're going to do, but you're committed to do it together. That's right. And you guys are setting these goals for the commitment. So at that point, you guys know where you guys are going. You guys are committed to each other and that's it. And don't be disloyal. Cause that kind of goes, like the they same, do. Right? So, so I'll give you an example and not to say, you know, calling any specific <laughs> like People situations out. <laughs> out, I should say. But, um, for example, right. Cause you guys are probably like, I wonder, like I'm thinking what could be an example of this, you know? So being committed, loyal, that kind of thing. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to be like me and John, where we spend each other literally every day and every minute, all day, every day together. Yeah. But if you're committed to someone, right. And let's just say your friends ask you to go out and you said, let's just say you, you were going to go to dinner that night with your significant other. Right. And let's just, just say that night you decided, oh, you know what? I, I got my buddies in town or somebody so-and-so is doing this thing. I really got to go or, you know, whatever it is. That's kind of like breaking the commitment. You know, like you committed to do dinner and you're not doing dinner now. And it's and that you would think like you're thinking everybody thinks commitment. It's like put a ring on it. You know, that's commitment. The little things like this, a dinner, believe it or not, that's commitment. If you say you're going to do something, do it. Do it. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you say yeah. you're going to be somewhere, be there. You got to be held accountable for what you say you're going to do. If you say, if you, whatever you say you're going to do, follow through with it. And that's how you are truly committed to whatever it is, whether it's dinner, maybe picking them up from somewhere, maybe stopping at the grocery and getting something. You just, if you say you're going to do something, do it. That's, it's simple as that. And these things are, are the building blocks for a healthy relationship and a good relationship. Obviously loyalty and commitment go right hand in hand. And you want to always have that trust factor. And that goes with both of these. If you're loyal to somebody and you're committed and they see this to your actions, they trust you more. It builds your bond and brings you guys closer. It's really important to do with these two things. The third thing, and this one's probably one of the most important things in life in general, whatever you're doing. <laughs> communication. We bring it up in every episode. So we literally tell, tell you guys about how communication is key in every episode. She's definitely right with this. Literally. One. Because without communication, you guys will break down. You guys might, some one partner might think one thing and one partner might think another. And it's two totally different thoughts. And they both assume that the other partner's thinking this and the partner's thinking that. And now right there, you have a communication breakdown. I mean, not only that, but you know, let's just say for instance, another example for you to help you guys, you know, put a visualization on it. Um, you know, let's just say that you and your partner are having a discussion about something. It's just, let's say it's over dinner. It's, it's you guys are just whatever, asking questions, finding more out about each other, whatever. And let's just say that that person may have said something 
that may have insulted you to some degree, right? Might have bothered you, might have insulted you. Now, and then you just, you don't say anything about it because maybe you're processing it. You know, some people it takes, you may not right away just, boom, oh, what do you mean? Sometimes it takes people, I'm different. Like I will, I process very quickly and you're gonna get a response out of me probably within 60 seconds. But true. not everybody is like me, right? <laughs> so some people it takes a day even to like really process something and then they're like, man, why did you say that? You know, like, do you really think that about me? Or like, you know, and then, so then you might just go on this journey of like thoughts, right? And you go on the thought journey and then you start creating all these different scenarios. A terrible journey to go on, by the way. So just don't get on that train. Simply go to your partner, communicate and be like, hey, you know, I know we were just talking the other night and then you had mentioned such and such. You know, what exactly did you mean by that? You know, like, it, can you just explain it a little bit more to me? Because maybe they didn't mean it a way that they said it. Maybe it came across a different way. And right. you're, taking, you're taking it a whole other way. Right. Maybe they did mean what they said exactly how it was. And, hey, listen, we'll, we'll make the communication. And if you really feel that way and you're feeling some type of way about how they feel, then you guys can, you know, mush it out after that. But ultimately, if you don't tell your partner that it's bothering you, what do you think happens? You simmer. And you simmer so and simmer, like a, like a hot pot, right? right? A hot pot of boiling water on the stove, right? And you know usually if you add like macaroni to it or something, that it usually overflows after 10 minutes, right? So just think about it like that. It's like a boiling pot of macaroni. And it's then- so long it's gonna boil over. 100%. All right, so the last one, respecting each other, okay? It's really key to respect your partner, right? Mm -hmm. You don't think down on them. They shouldn't think down on you. This is a big thing for relationships these days because I see out there that people don't have respect for each other and for their relationship. This shows to other people. This is disrespectful to your relationship. This is disrespectful to your partner. And remember, show them respect. There's a reason why you're in a relationship with them, right? And you gotta start thinking about some of these reasons. Now, if you're in it for something shallow, it's just, you know, a good play time or whatever it is. That's not really a relationship. But if it's something that you truly care about and you really want to go forward with them and accomplish new things, marriage, kids, whatever it may be, you got to show them the respect factor mm -hmm. because these things go all hand in hand and synergistically work together. So guys, learn about these four pillars for the best relationship you could possibly have. And make sure you have a really sturdy table. Incorporate them. So you make your table the sturdiest as possible. Yeah. That way you can put two tons on the I was going to say, you can put all kinds of stuff on the table. It and no one's going to break it down. Because huh. you guys will be stronger than ever. Isn't that great? You guys will be loyal to each other, committed, communicating, and you guys will respect each other. Yep. These are the four pillars of a healthy, long-lasting relationship for you guys. So that ends the show this week. I'm John. I'm Sharice. Make sure you guys are checking us out on Keep Us Corner every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. And guys, if you missed it live, DVR it. You can always do that. Bing. And if you didn't get to do that, don't worry. We have all these great episodes on YouTube. Just type in Titan Medical Center. You'll see this Cupid's Corner, all the rest of the Cupid's Corner, and a lot, lot more. So go check it out right now, guys. And we'll see you next week. See you then.